Welcome to digitalconstructive.com. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Louisiana plumbing license. Now I recommend that you watch this video all the way through. However, below we've got timestamps that'll take you to specific sections so that you can find the information you're looking for as quickly as possible. Now in the state of Louisiana, anyone performing installation, maintenance, and repair of potable and non-potable tap water and or sewer water systems within a building structure or house is required to have a plumbing license. There are three main classifications, the tradesman license, the journeyman plumber license, and the master plumber license. A tradesman can repair existing plumbing in one and two family dwellings, make repairs to existing plumbing systems, clear stoppages, repair leaks, but it must be under the direction of a master plumber. They'll need to hold a current apprenticeship registration through the SPBL, have at least two years totaling in 4,000 hours of experience, and work under the direction of a licensed journeyman or master plumber. A journeyman can repair existing plumbing in one and two family dwellings, make repairs to existing plumbing systems, clear stoppages, repair leaks, and perform installation of plumbing systems under the, under the supervision of a master plumber. To get a journeyman license, you'll need to hold a current apprenticeship registration through the SPBL or have five years totaling in 8,000 hours of experience. You can qualify for a waiver if you have W-2s or payroll documentation of your experience with a licensed plumbing company. Now, a master plumber can perform all residential and commercial plumbing work, repair existing plumbing in all structures, repair to existing plumbing systems, installation of all plumbing systems, and also pull building permits. To get the master plumber's license, you'll need to hold a current journeyman plumber's license or restricted master plumber license or an engineering license. Now, they've all got basic requirements that are you're at least 18 years of age, you've got a valid USA identification, and a Social Security or ITIN number. A tradesman will need to have references from three journeymen or master plumbers. A journeyman must provide the name of the employing entity or training instructor. And a master plumber must have either a journeyman license, restricted master, or engineering license number. Now the tradesman examination is going to be two parts. Part one is going to be 80 questions, open book, it's a computerized test, and you'll need 70% to pass. In addition to that, you'll get three hours to take the examination. You'll need to know about definitions and, regu and general regulations, general health and safety knowledge, general plumbing repair and service, trade knowledge, plumbing fixtures and fixtures fittings, sanitary drainage and vents, traps and indirect waste, and also water supply and distribution systems. Now, part two is going to be an actual practical where you will go uh, to the location that the SPBL provides and actually perform a floor plan project, a scoop pipe project, and a copper project. Now, the journeyman exam is going to be also two parts. Part one will be 80 questions, open book, computerized exam that will require 70% to pass, and again, you'll get three hours to take the test. You'll need to know about definitions and general regulations, plumbing fixtures and fixture fittings, safety, environmental, and OSHA, sanitary drainage and vents, storm drainage, water supply, and distribution. Part two is also going to be a practical. So you'll go and do a floor plan project, screw pipe project, and a copper project. The master plumber examination is going to be three parts. Part one will be general plumbing. Part two will be practical plumbing. And part three will be business and law. 145 questions, you'll get 70% that you'll need to pass, and you'll get three hours for each section, and it'll be an open book exam. Now we've got courses that break down every single one of these exams that you can find below. You'll need to know about general plumbing knowledge, so everything from drainage systems and sewers to general code, fixtures and trim, excavation, inspection, and testing. Now we've got all this information below. It breaks down each exam, so you can always refer to that. The practical plumbing knowledge portion will cover a variety of topics including drainage systems, water supply, roof drain systems, tools and procedures, terminology, and plans and specifications. The law and business will cover project management, contract management, financial management, risk management, business planning and organization, licensing, safety, labor laws, tax lien laws, and estimation and bidding. Now when it comes to fees, you'll pay an application processing fee, You'll pay an examination fee, and when it's time to renew your exam, you'll pay a renewal fee. Now, as fees constantly change, we've got the most updated fees that you can check out in the description of this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, 
feel free to drop them below. Again, we've got full courses that cover everything that you need to know to become a licensed plumber in the state of Louisiana. Again, hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and this is digitalconstructive.com.